She was finally released in June 1990 as a free citizen. Thank you, Bentley, for the nice introduction. Good evening, my fellow Singaporeans. Very nice of you to come here. <laughs> now, today I want to speak about public service. Two million dollars, three million, four million. How much more do we have to pay before we can get good leaders? Lee Kuan Yew said that a test of nationhood is whether the people are willing to die for the nation. Government ministers are not willing to serve the people if they are not paid millions. <laughs> Yet, Minister Mentor expects us ordinary Singaporeans to die for our country. Is that fair? <laughs> In the recent Japan nuclear disaster, technicians, firemen at the damaged Fukushima nuclear plant worked tirelessly and courageously to prevent a nuclear meltdown, knowing that they were continually exposed to high levels of radiation. The Fukushima 50, as these heroic workers have come to be known, risk their lives in order to save the lives of their compatriots. This is public service at its noblest. Yes! Not the PAP ministers who have to be persuaded to serve with a seven-digit annual income that an average Singaporean like you and me would need two or three lifetimes to earn. This is no longer an issue of dollars and cents. This is an issue of morality. It is also a national issue, and we as citizens must have a say. Don't you agree? Nothing. What I'm 
ministers bring home millions of dollars a year plus eight months bonus. In 2007, Minister for Community Development, Youth and Sport, Dr. Vivian Balakrishnan. <laughs>
food stuff and medicine. Yeah. Yeah. We will introduce minimum wage laws. Yeah. We will work towards the reduction of class size from 40 to 20 in our schools. Yeah. You know, when I was at school 50 years ago, the class size was 40. Today, it is still 40 or more. Now, are we living in the first world? No. Developing world, I think. We may not have the same public spiritedness of the Fukushima 50, who put the safety of their country above their own individual lives. But we, the people of Singapore, must give a clear message to the PAP that we will not succumb to their carrots and sticks. Yes! We will not fall to the so-called goodies, which are nothing more than giving you $10 and taking from you $100. As one taxi man told me, the PAP gives you an egg and then it takes away a mature hen. <laughs> that has been and will continue to be the style of the PAP. We will not submit to the PAP threat of no upgrading of HDB flats in opposition wards. Now let me ask you a few honest questions. The PAP claims credit for the rapid progress and success of Singapore since independence. Who are the real heroes who have toiled and sweat? We, the people of Singapore! Prices of food, transportation, medical services, housing are going up and up. Who are the most affected? We, the people of Singapore. The PAP ministers are the highest paid ministers in the world, getting millions a year. Who are paying them? We are paying them. Of Singapore. Now, so if you want change, please vote for the FTP. Thank you.